Hi everyone, I am Gisela K. T. Agustin Ignace and I am going to tackle briefly the topic about hedonic calculus. Suppose this is student given the same time frame. You are given the chance to either enjoy the whole semester eating and having entertainment or you choose to study your lesson. How can you say that the former situation is the best situation? What situation is right? How did the other situation become wrong? According to Jeremy Bentham, rational entities would naturally be motivated to things that are pleasurable and would definitely avoid pain. Thus, he made an idea of weighing down pleasure and pain in order to determine the rightness and wrongness of an action. How is pleasure and pain calculated in order to arrive at the right action? It is through the seven tests which he made, which are the intensity, the duration, certainty, propinquity, fecundity, purity, and extent. A sedonic calculus is one of the acts of utilitarianism. The rightness and wrongness of an action can be given weight. So let's get right into how it can be calculated. Considering pleasure as plus and pain as minus, we take our earlier situation of enjoying the semester for entertainment or studying during that time and apply our understanding about hedonic calculus. We can say that intensity of pleasure may be the same with the two. But will enjoyment for entertainment bring long pressure? How about the other tasks? By comparison, we can gain more plus with learning than entertainment. Hence, we can answer our previous question. As we turn ethics into an equation, we can see the best and right outcome clearly and empirically. Hence, we can say that the rightness and wrongness of an action will depend on the pain and pleasure the action can bring. That's all. Thank you for watching.